hello friends welcome back my name is abdul wahid and we are learning css css3 and this is the first project inside this course we have covered the basic topics or you can say the basic lectures inside css and now it is time to work on some projects so this is the first project and this is called image gallery with lightbox effect so let's just start working open your code editor I have a new file this is called image gallery and you can say this is called index.html and I have just one more file style.css and it is linked here style.css so we have a folder inside this CSS project folder one more folder first project this is the index file this is the style file and we have just four images here you can see one two three four that we are going to use to create image gallery so go to your html and start coding you can just insert a div here if close and you can set a class or id here and give a name something like gallery inside this div first let's just uh, do some coding for this gallery inside the css copy and go to your css for class we are using dot and gallery is the name of the class can set the width of this to something like 1000 pixel and you can give a border one pixel solid red border and you can say just uh, let's just save this for right now save this one also go to your web page and a page so you can see we have a border here I'm going to zoom this to 125 and we have a border here and if you want to put this in center you need to use here margin zero auto and you can save this now you can see this total in center and i want to just use some uh, pairing for this pairing five pixel you can save and refresh now you can see this the result Five pixel of pairing and you can see the pairing between these red borders now you can just go to your HTML file and inside this I want to just write some comments first section and this is the first section I want to copy this control C you can just paste this again and again so you can paste this one more time and this here and so inside this you can just open one more div and you can close this a class of you can give any a name for your class or even you can create id instead of this class and i'm just giving a name of thumbs here so let's just select the thumbs and you can save this also go to your css file dart thumbs and open this curly braces inside this you can set the width to something like uh, so the total width is 1000 pixel so i want to set two pictures side by side inside this uh, 1000 pixels so i need to give the width something like 490 px and you can set the height to something like 250 px and you can set the display the display to inline block you can select from here and you can give a border for this border one pixel solid red border now you can save this and refresh so you can see we have a thumb size here 490 pixel is the width and 250 pixel is the height and i want to just uh, fix the image inside this go to your html and inside this thumbs uh, you need to just insert anchor tag and you can say hypertext reference just a hash sign for right now then you can insert image tag here image source 
equal sign double quotation and close here we have the images folder then we have one.jpg now you can save go to your web page and you can see the image is the image have a bigger width so you can just set this we have thumbs and inside thumbs we have img you can copy this and go to your css dot thumbs img we have inside the thumbs so you can just set the width to something like 100 percent and the height also to 100 percent now you can save go to your web page and you can see this the result and you can see the red border around this image so this image is totally fixed inside this and you can go to your html you can copy the div and paste inside this one again and again so this one can be image number two this one can be image number three this one can be image number four now you can save this and refresh so we have four different images here and you can see we have some extra space on the right side and we can uh, give or we can just divide this uh, space between these images you can go to your css and inside thumbs we can use margin from the left let's just use four pixel and margin from the top i want to use four pixel you can save and now we can see we have the equal high space between the images so for this video i think this is enough and inside the next video we will come back we will keep continue working on this project so till next video try to watch this video and do some practice have a nice time and see you